Welcome back, pre-algebra students. We're in lesson 69. We're going to talk about absolute value. It's absolute value. The definition of absolute value is the distance from zero or from the origin, which is zero on the number line. What that means is this, you have a number line here, right? And in the middle of our number line, we always start with zero, or we always have zero as a starting point. For every number, every positive integer that we have on the number line, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, and so on, it has an opposite over here on the left side. This is to the right, the right side is positive, and on the left, we have negative numbers. So positive 1 has an opposite of negative 1. Positive 2 has negative 2. We have negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. So they're like a mirror. If you split it in half right here at the origin, every number you see over here that's positive, you're going to have over here that's negative. Okay? And uh, we just have positives and negatives to show addition and subtraction. Um, but absolute value, let's go back to that, it is the distance from the origin. So if I say the absolute value of negative four is, I'm gonna count the spaces from zero. One, two, three, four. So the absolute value, the distance from negative four to zero is four spaces positive 4, the absolute value of positive 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. So it doesn't matter what the sign of a number is. What matters is its location in regards to the origin or how far away from 0 it is. And we understand how far away it is from 0 by just looking at the number. So a negative 4 is going to be 4 units or 4 spaces from 0. And a positive 4 is going to be 4 spaces from 0. Um, and you could check that by just 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So it's easy peasy. So whatever is in these brackets here, let's say I had a negative 3. You just change the sign to positive, and that's your answer. That's all you have to do. So if I have a positive 2, I ch the sign's already positive, so the answer remains the same. All right, so let's talk about the addition and subtraction of signed numbers. If I wanted to um, add some numbers together, uh, every number in addition subtraction is it's really all combination it's really all addition there isn't really any subtraction in algebra and what I mean by that is this if I have a 3 and I want to subtract 2 and then I want to add 4 and then I want to subtract 7 and then I want to add 6 what I'm really doing is I am moving that number of spaces on the number line. So I would be starting at 3, and then I would be adding a negative or a left movement of two spaces, and then I would be adding a positive movement of four spaces, and then I'd be adding a left movement or a negative movement of seven spaces, and then I would be adding another positive movement of six spaces. This is what you're doing whenever you are adding and subtracting. And that is why it is so crucial to go in the order it occurs. So let me use my different color here. If I were to start at the three right here, I'm at this point, 
and I would, uh, if I were to subtract two, I would be moving to the negative side two spaces. So I'm going to the left. One, two. All right, that's two spaces to the left or negative. Now I want to go positive or to the right four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm on positive five. So now I want to go back negative seven spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me move this out of the way. Now I'm here, I've moved seven spaces, but now I wanna go back six spaces. I wanna go back positive. I wanna add positive six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer would be a positive four. Let's see if that works mathematically the way we think it ought to down here. Three minus two, we would think that would be one. Well, three minus two is indeed one, right? That's where this came to was one. So at one, we added four. So to me, that would be five, right? One plus four is five. And then if we look, yes, we came over here to the positive five. So this was positive one, this is positive five. So now we subtract seven, five minus seven, that's gonna be negative two. So we look, we land right over the negative two. That is correct, that's where we are. So then we add six back to that, we're moving six more spaces this direction, we end up over the positive four. So five minus seven, that's negative two, plus six is a positive four. That's our answer. If you look, that's exactly what we did down here. We said three with a negative two, three and a negative two added together is going to be one, positive one. Negative two and a positive four is going to be, uh, or I'm sorry, a positive one, which was these, all these combined, is going to be a positive five. Then when we combine that with a negative seven, we have a negative two. And we combine that with a positive six, we get an, a positive four. So you could see how you can use addition and subtraction of sign numbers with your number line to get you where you need to go and help you understand what you're actually doing. All you need to understand is that whenever we have these numbers here, we're adding the sign. The sign stays with the number. And if there is no sign written, it's positive. So we are just combining Everything is positive unless it has a negative with it. We're just combining all of these. Let me switch to this sign right here. So you can see that we're combining these together. But we keep the sign with the number when it's written out. So let's practice. Let's see, let me clear this. Write it now if you haven't. Let's look at uh, adding negative three and positive one. All right, so if I have negative three here, we know positive's to the right, negative is to the left. I wanna add positive one. It means I'm, it's positive, so I'm gonna go to the right one space. So that's gonna be negative two is my answer. One of the things to remember is when you're adding numbers that have different signs, um, whatever the biggest number's sign is, that is gonna be the sign. So when the signs are different, 
when the signs are different, we subtract the numbers. And take the sign of the larger number. Right? That's what we did. 3 minus 1, and it would be 2. We have 3 is the larger number, so it's negative 2. And that's illustrated by looking at the number line. Okay, if we were to do another one, let's say, let me redraw this right here. Uh, we have positive one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to start with positive one and we want to add or combine positive two. All right, we start at one and we go one, two to the right because it's positive. That gives us positive three is the answer. Correct? So when we have signs that are the same, so when signs are the same, we add and keep the sign. And that even works for negative numbers. Let me show you how that works for negative numbers. Let's say that these are all, let me redo all of these. Let's say this is negative one. Let's say this is zero, right? Negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Let's say I have negative one and I'm combining that with a negative three. The signs are the same. So we're going to add these together and we're going to get negative four because we're going to keep the sign. So let's illustrate that on the number line. We start at negative one and we add negative three spaces. So we move to the left three spaces. One, two, three. And that takes us to negative four, which is what we got. So when the signs are the same, we add the numbers together and keep the same sign. When the signs are different, we subtract and take the sign of the larger number. And that's how you handle combining or adding different signed numbers. Alrighty. Alright, that is all we have for Lesson 69. I will see you in Lesson 70.